The Hazel Art Gallery has over a thousand pieces of art drawn by Glenn Earl Newman, otherwise known as the Kentucky Cajun. We had a chance to speak with him at his gallery in Hazel and got to check out some of his artwork. Glenn writes stories every day based on real life events or dreams that come to him throughout the night. I was sitting with dad one night and he was uh, uh, sick so I, uh, he was telling me about his life and I didn't know nothing about his life. So at that time I didn't even know I could draw in 1997. So I went to the uh, restroom, I got a paper towel and I wrote three stories and I drew three pictures that night and the following Christmas I gave my children a book of 129 stories and pictures of my life. And from then on, I've kept going. I've got over 1,300 pieces of art now. And uh, they're a lot about my life and a lot about the swamp where I live, five miles from the swamp. And I was raised on a 100-acre strawberry farm. And uh, it's also, since I moved to Kentucky four years ago, I have uh, settled here in Hazel, Kentucky. and I. I have uh, drawn things that have happened since I've been up here, such as the ice storm and things like that. Glenn tells us the interesting story behind moving to Hazel and setting up shop on the state line. I was going to move to Tennessee, but my brakes fell on my truck and I slid across the road and I ended up here in Kentucky. But uh, really the reason I've come here, my boy was a war hero that died seven years ago and uh, the family lives in Dover, Tennessee in Indian Mount, Tennessee, right by it. And I moved to be up here near them. So, and I love the, the town here. It's an antique town and also uh, the Spanish houses, which I like. Some of Glenn's larger works of art can be seen next to the state line. He elaborates more on this history and making of the statues. Well, uh, since I live right here in Hazel and it's on the state line between Tennessee and Kentucky, uh, I've decided to uh, build a statue of Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone explored for Kentucky and uh, Crockett for Tennessee. So I figured theoretically they would meet at this state line here and become friends. And of course they was born not quite the same age. But anyway, I took a styrofoam from a pontoon boat and I carved a statue and then we, it's covered with a fourth of inch concrete and the dogs, the old blue and mohawk right beside them. And I named them, one of them after my dog, because I always named my dog Mohawk. I have Mohawk 17th out there right now. So. Being in the art business, Glenn has put together a few books to showcase his work. His recent book is based on an early life event that endured traveling throughout the South. I've written 10 books, and well, one of them is about bayou critters, swamp critters in the swamp, and then the one I'm recently uh, has written, have written uh, is about uh, when uh, I was young and at 16. And, uh... To see the artwork, you can find Glenn Newman at the south end of Hazel before entering Tennessee.